Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tree Machine Chapter 5. In the last episode, I uh, kept investigating the forest. I uh, didn't exactly get too much done. Um, we found an enchanted lake where we found this forked twig, which uh, we need to go talk to the pumpkins back at the, at the hut in the north of the map. Um, but we decided to go first before we do that to um, behind the mob, uh, because the forest continues this far and we found a somewhat of a dead knight on the ground um, who don't exactly believe that they're <laughs> they're dead but I think we got them a bit convinced at the end of the last episode and now he wants us to find him the final final piece <laughs> final rest or something um, so yeah that's that's the type of stuff we're doing at the moment um, there are again two ways we can go I don't think there's anything else on this um, area we can click. We got uh, wheels from that that we can use to probably make a wheelchair for um, this um, this lady, the scout who had lost their legs um, further back. <laughs> um, which way to go? Uh, let's go north first. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, there's the wall of this uh, old castle, I think. Oh my god, this is such a huge map, it never ends. Oh, when do I find the edge of the world? Alright, um... Hmm... There doesn't seem to be any... Examine ruins. That's the only thing I can pretty much do here. The castle was standing here a long time ago. Probably a remnant from the past night's dream. Ooh, okay. Hmm, past night's dream. So, you keep mentioning that a lot. Uh, between uh, like in front of all sorts of ruins, so I assume we're gonna be changing the map somehow Maybe go to the past or something Let's go this way Ooh berries. Oh, we found the end. <laughs> we found the end of the map finally um, Pick up berries I guess the pixies seem to con Conjurate here for some reason. I wonder why. Pick up berries. This might come in handy. Uh, I've already picked some. Are they all the same berries? This could be the area where the uh, pixies are having a little bit of problem, I think. Hmm. Is that only we can do here? Well, we should remember this at least, that the pictures are here, because this might be where they're having an issue we can help them with, so they owe me a favor, because that's like the first thing, first mission we received in this area. Um, we have this whistle too. I'm supposed to blow this whistle if I get into trouble. Okay. Hmm. Can I do anything with this? Hmm... Yarn... I just want to try out everything, just in case. Shovel. I don't need to dig up the entire bush. I can just pick the berries directly from the branches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um... Well, okay. Well, let's go back then. I don't exactly know what else to do here. Mm, there was another way we could go next to the night, so... Oh, there's blood there, too. Drops of blood smeared path. Okay, so the organ thief has been here, probably, then. Alright. Uh, let's go this way. A graveyard. Okay. Um, examine marker. I can't read the text on the stone. But I suspect somebody of great importance was buried here. Hmm, maybe we should get the knight here. Examine candles. The candles seem to be made out of bees, facts. Um, examine a marker. A wooden cross marks this grave. The insignia leads me to believe a man of, cre of the cloth was buried here. Wooden cross marks this final resting place. I think somebody involved with the clerical work lives here. Lies here. <laughs> lives here. Yeah. Well, kind of. They kind of live here. Um, a simple unadorned cross marks this grave. 
There's nothing written on it. Okay. Mm, I can't read the text on the stone. But I'm judging from the engraved symbols, I'd say a queen was buried here. Selma? They said it's Queen Selma. Ooh, there's an angel statue. A beautiful angel statue is watching over the souls resting here. I feel peaceful just looking at her. Oh. And there's another lamp. It's an old lamppost. I think it runs on kerosene. Yeah, those will be busy in a few. But they're all out. Uh... I can't read the text on the stone, but the symbols of the birth date and the departure date look very similar. I don't think this person reached adulthood. Oh, that's sad. Hmm. All right then. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe we can't do anything here. Let's go give the uh, twig <laughs> or uh, this thing, the forked twig to the pumpkins for next. Or could we say anything to the knight now about the graveyard? I'll just take his old bones? What? The armor looks too heavy to carry. Um. Oh, we could put him in a graveyard then, okay. Some armor. The suit of armor is old and rusty. There's nothing inside. Oh, we could pick up the bones. I didn't realize that at all. Well, now we can get him to this final resting place. Um, and there was an empty grave right here. Oh, we can we can dig up the ground probably. Yeah. <laughs> or there, <laughs> wherever. All right, and let's put the bones there. And then, this is it then. This is all I got. I'm afraid so. I think I recognize this place. It's the castle graveyard. Though time hasn't been kind to it. The kings and queens lie buried here, you know. Then you'll be all right. You'll be right at home. Thank you for doing this. I think I'll be able to sleep here. Goodbye, my friend. May you rest in peace. Uh, we should probably close the grave. Yeah. Hmm. It's the grave I dug for the night. I hope he finally manages to get some rest. Hmm. Okay. We didn't get any item, but I assume... Um, perhaps that was good. <laughs> A good thing to do. Probably helps us in the future. Or maybe we'll go open the grave or something. And we couldn't pick up the armor, right? Old and rusty, there's nothing inside. Okay. Yeah, we cannot take the, anything of that. Okay. Well, let's go this way then. Uh, let's go back to the pumpkins. Or do you have anything new to say? Any news? Have you found any leads? Um, oh, there, it's another one of these. I want to report my findings. What have you found? Um, Selma's gone missing. We need to find her. That's not cause for investigation. Selma's not the one attacking people. Quite the opposite, in fact. She's patched quite a few of us up. Um, there's a squirrel who seems to be hiding something underground. Sounds like a pretty normal thing for a squirrel to do. We won't investigate that. A squirrel didn't chop my arm off. That's for damn sure. Uh, the pixies might know who the organ thief is. Probably. Good luck asking them, though. Um, <laughs> there's a creepy lady living not far from here. She's not the organ thief. We've investigated her thoroughly. She has alibis for some of the attacks. As much as I hate to admit it, it's not her. Hmm. Okay. See you out of trouble, son. Okay, well, let's go back to the pumpkin patch then. I think it was this way. It's pretty far. Uh... Wait, I have wheels for you. Could you do anything with this? Have you considered crafting some kind of cart so you can drag yourself along the ground? Frankly, yes. But I don't see any cart components lying around, do you? What about these? Those look pretty sturdy. If you can find two more wheels, I'd be much obliged. I'll see what I can do. Okay. So you need two more wheels. I'll try to find them. Okay, hi pumpkins. 
I found some sort of a twig, <laughs> if that's any interest to you. Um, use fork twig. Well, I guess I can just talk to them. He came back! I knew he would! I found this twig by the lake. Gods be praised! He has pulled it from the shore! Only a true heir could do that. He is the one! I'll be damned. I didn't believe you at first, but this evidence is overwhelming. I apologize for not believing you earlier, Leech. My stubbornness blinded me. Don't sweat it. I didn't believe it myself. That's most gracious of you, sire. So... What happens now? Now you claim your throne and rule this land for as long as you live. This pumpkin patch is mine now? The great and noble pumpkin nation. But if we are to crown you as ruler, we must first know your royal name. I'm Victor Neff. All hail King Victor the First, supreme ruler of the pumpkin patch. The wisest monarch of all. <laughs> Let the festivities commence. Huzzah! Y yeah, I gotta go. We'll safeguard your kingdom in your absence, sir. <laughs> okay. I'm the king of the pumpkins. Does this affect this at all? <laughs> that I'm the king of the pumpkins? Who's there? I'm Victor Neff, game man. We're stubborn, are we? You have three seconds to get off my porch. Or I'll fling you to one of the corners of this forest. Um. Should we try flinging? I mean, we don't know if that takes us to a new area or something. What harm could you possibly do for in there? I can make you leave by force. Three. I'm not leaving until you see me. Two. I'm looking for something. One. I just want to talk to you. That's it. Time's up. Guess we'll do this the hard way. Ah! I disappeared. <laughs> oh, it puts us to the beginning. Oh man. What happened? I feel like I've been turned inside out. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> okay, it just throws us in the beginning then. Cause you, yeah, if you can't die in this game, it just throws us out of the dream or into the beginning or something. Hmm. Well, then once we're here, we might as well go see if this guy has anything, any news to us. Hello again. I hope you'll excuse me for not getting up. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> um, do you have any new info for us? No, I don't think you do. Okay, I have to go. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, what do we do now? Um, wait, was there? We need to find the two. Wait, what even do we need to do? We need to get the, the pixies. Wait, there was this thing. We could catch an animal, I think, with this or something. Yes, that's great. Use yarn with cage. I've tied the yarn to the forked twig. Okay. Um, and now the yarn falls us. Do we put the egg in there, perhaps? This doesn't seem to work. Yeah, I need, a, like, a bait or something. The berries! Yes? Hmm... And should I go hide? I'll just drop the yarn here. Okay. And now I think we wait. No, don't examine the blood. Or do we go out here and then go pack, perhaps? Oh, there's a pixie! I think I think there's something in a cage. Pull the yarn. Ha! Ah, I don't know how that pixie is not escaping. <laughs> it's quite quite big holes in the cage, but whatever. Please, sir, help me! I'm trapped in this horrible cage! Of course I'll help you, my little friend. 
<laughs> I guess this was the hell. Oh, hi. You have fangs and horns. You're pretty cute. Thank you, kind stranger. I thought I was done for. Don't mention it. I'm just glad I could help. Well, bless my lucky star. You're not only helpful, you're modest as well. Quite a gallant knight you are. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time, I guess. You sure were a big guy. But you made sure of it, that, didn't you? Sorry? You made sure you were in the right place at the right time. N no, I just happened by and heard you cry for help. You didn't try to catch me? Uh... Why would I do that? Because you need our help. What makes you think I did? Just some minor details. Like what? You were seen picking those berries not far from here. Um, I just happened to like berries. You were heard noting that pixies seemed to congregate around the berry bush. Um, nothing wrong with making casual observations. You then baited this trap with the berries you picked. Um, I put them in a cage for safekeeping. You then propped this cage open with the twig you found. I was trying to catch a rodent. You were seen tying the twig with the yarn you took from the healer's hut. Hey, it's a pure leaf festive decoration. You were seen pulling a yarn from behind the tree over there. I thought you were a rodent. And last, but most damning of all, you were overheard talking to the squirrel about how to gain our favor. That's because you thought I'd be grateful once you let me out of the cage, didn't you? I thought... You thought I'd help you if you released me. Do you still deny catching me on purpose? Alright, I confess. I trapped you. There's no denying it. You know everything anyway. Sensible. But I had a good reason to. We know about that as well. You know I'm looking for Selma? Yes, the healer. I need to find her. She might be in danger. She is. What does that mean? Where is she? She's trapped by the black wall. She came too close. How do I find her? You have to do something for me first. I'll tell you. But only if you tickle me. Excuse me? You heard me, big guy. You were very ticklish. I'll talk, but only if you tickle me. Uh, Alright. How do I tickle you? With your fingers, stupid. How else would you do it? Like this? Oh. <laughs> I'm moving the hand. Tickle face. Well, tickle stomach? Yes, that's perfect. Tickle arm? You can do better. I'm not ticklish there. Legs? What a waste. I guess the stomach then. Mercy, that's good. You're brutal. Please, all have mercy. You're ruthless. That's it. Harder. That's great. Faster, you got it. That's the spot. Don't stop. No mercy. I can't take it. You're getting there. I'm close. Almost the Apua. Help. Okay. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> Why was that so awful? Oh, oh. Thank you. That was great. Just what I needed. Uh, I'm glad I could help. But what happened here? What do you mean? Did you let yourself be caught so I would tickle you? No. You caught me fair and square. But if you guys know everything going on in the forest, why did you step into my trap? You must have known about it beforehand, right? Oh, you're no fun anymore. Your questions are boring me. I'll tell you what you want to know. Alright, where can I find Selma? She's behind the old castle ruins. How do I get there? Examine one of the ruin walls closely. I, it's not as solid as it seems. Now let me go. I've helped you enough. Oh god. Oh, and one last thing. Yes? Don't go to don't go close to the eyes. Or they'll trap you just like they did Selma. How do I free her from them? <laughs> we don't know. They don't belong to this forest. But then again, neither do you. Alright. That was a normal interaction with a pixie, I suppose. 
Um, oh, we have this forked twig with us. Examine cage. Could we take the parries back? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, all right then. Um. So there's like what would what do you say? Like a wall. Some something we could go through. I guess the wall. Let's go see. Uh, castle was this way. And up here. And examine the wall. There seems to be an opening in the wall right there. I never would have noticed that if the pixie hadn't pointed it out. Yeah, I don't even see it. The path continues towards left. Uh, well, go on in. Oh, there we go. Ooh, dark forest. Hmm. Well, uh, we're gonna continue on in the next episode. I can see the wall of ice there. Oh god. Okay. Um. So yeah, thank you for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna meet an old friend, the wall of ice, I presume. But we did something in Mr. Willer's stream um, with the wall of ice. I don't know if it has any effect on this place. But yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.